Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that Part A. Computer price index for the following by simple aggregate method. And in this, the data is given to us in which the commodities are given as A, B, C, D, E and F. And the corresponding prices of the given commodities in the year 1976 in dollars are given as 15, 25, 30, 33, 35 and 42. And the prices in the year 1986 in dollars are given as 18, 37, 35, 39, 41 and 50. And in the part B, using simple aggregate method, the index number for the year 1995, taking 1990 as the base year, for the following data is 120. Find the missing entries in the data if summation P0 is equal to 416. And here in the given data, the commodities are given as A, B, C, D, E and F. And the corresponding prices of the given commodities in the year 1990 in dollars are given as 48, 65, X, 75, 80 and 120. And the corresponding prices of the given commodities in the year 1995 in dollars are given as Y, 70, 77, 85, 95 and 150. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. Now by the simple aggregate method, P01 is equal to summation P1 over summation P0 into 100, where P01 denotes the price index number for the current year with reference to the base year. Summation P1 denotes the total of the current year prices of all the commodities under consideration and summation P0 denotes the total of the base year prices of the same commodities which we have considered for summation P1. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. First of all, let us start with part A. Now in the A part we have to compute a price index for the following data by simple aggregate method. Now here, the year 1976 is the base year for the year 1986. It means the prices in the year 1976 will be the base year prices of the given commodities under consideration and the prices in the year 1986 will be the current year prices of the given commodities under consideration. So the base year prices are denoted by P0 and the current year prices are denoted by P1. Now from the given data, summation P0 is equal to, that is the total of the base year prices of the given commodities under consideration is equal to 15 plus 25 plus 30 plus 33 plus 35 plus 42 which is equal to 180 and the total of the current year prices of the given commodities that is summation P1 is equal to 18 plus 37 plus 35 plus 39 
plus 41 plus 50 which is equal to 220. Now using the result which is given in the key idea we can find out the price index number. So the price index number P01 for the year 1986 taking 1976 as the base year is equal to summation P1 over summation P0 into 100 which is equal to now summation P1 is 220 summation P0 is 180 so P01 will be equal to 220 over 180 into 100 which is equal to 122.222 this means if the total prices in the year 1976 is represented by 100, then the total of the prices in the year 1986 will be represented by 122.222, which is called the simple aggregate price index for the year 1986 taking 1976 as the base year, which means that the prices have increased in the year 1986 to the extent of 22% when compared to the prices of the year 1976. Now let us start with the part B in which using the simple aggregate method the index number for the year 1995 taking 1990 as a base year for the following data is given as 120 and we have to find the missing entries in the given data if summation P0 is equal to 460, now summation P0 means the total of the base year prices of all the commodities under consideration. Now here 1990 is the base year for the year 1995. This means the prices in the year 1990 will be the base year prices and the total of all these prices will give us summation P0. So in the B part it is given that summation P0 is equal to 460 also from the given data summation P0 is equal to 48 plus 65 plus X plus 75 plus 80 plus 120 which implies now summation P0 is 460, so this is equal to, now adding all these values, we will get 388 plus X, which implies X is equal to 72. Also, we can find out summation P1, that is, the total of the current year prices of all the commodities under consideration, therefore, summation P1 from the given data is equal to Y plus 70 plus 77 plus 85 plus 95 plus 150, which is equal to Y plus 477. Now we know that by the simple aggregate method, the price index number P01 for the year 1995 taking 1990 as a base year is equal to summation P1 over summation P0 into 100. Now P01 is given to us as 120. So this implies 120 is equal to, now summation P1 is Y plus 477 upon, now 
of summation P0 is 460. Therefore, we have 120 is equal to Y plus 477 all upon 460 into 100, which further implies, now further on solving and cross multiplying, it will be 12 into 46 is equal to y plus 477. And this implies 552 minus 477 is equal to y, which implies y is equal to 75. Therefore, we have got x is equal to 72 and y is equal to 75. So this is the solution of the given question. And that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.